you're going against the grain once again here because as I said that you know there's a lot of people that we speak to that would probably disagree with you so uh, why uh, why are you saying this and why are you forecasting a recovery here uh, sure so I think there are a few reasons uh, the number one is about the uh, supply side uh, the construction new start has been falling uh, three years in a row uh, so the sector has been destocking uh, the second one is about the central government also launched the three uh, major projects uh, one of which is about the urban village renovation uh, and the central bank also prints about um, 500 billion uh, PSL to support uh, this program. And I, guess, and I guess the third reason is about uh, over the past three years, we had been um, uh, troubled by the multiple developers' default. Uh, but so far, it seems that the government also is trying to support uh, the developers in terms of the financing uh, to stop the uh, vicious cycle. Right. Um, what do you think are the most or if you had to single one out, what's the single most important leading indicator for the property sector right now? I would say it would be the uh, tier one cities, um, okay. in particular Beijing, Shanghai, the property price, mm. uh, secondary property price, uh, and a leading indicator to that would be about the secondary listing, mm. uh, the supply from the secondary market in the tier one cities. Right, and what are those telling you? So after the uh, Chinese New Year, the secondary listing uh, continued to uh, increase, uh, so which is not a good sign. Um, I guess one of the reasons is because the property price uh, continued to decline, and that makes people feel that uh, property price may probably f decline furthermore. What makes you so confident in the speed of the recovery? Because you look at other examples, uh, Japan, for instance, took about 15 years to, to recover from its property bust. The US, for instance, about six following the subprime uh, mortgage crisis. Why do you think it can be done in such a short amount of time? I think um, the, uh, there are two reasons for that. Number one is that uh, the, uh, the shrinkage of the volume uh, is sharper compared to uh, the other two countries. Uh, mainly it's about the supplies of decreasing, which is the construction uh, new starts. Uh, and I guess the second reason is because China is still uh, a developing country, which means that the urbanization rate is still going on. Uh, the underlying uh, demand is uh, better than the uh, developed countries. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, right now we are in the, probably in the middle stage of the urbanization uh, stage, so the underlying demand is still there. But just the fact that people are delaying their property purchase uh, because of the uh, uncertainty on the property price outlook. Mm -hmm. What, what progress are we seeing on the... And one of the issues was people were doubting and had doubts over whether some of the projects would get completed. And I'm wondering, since you came out with this report, this was back in January, have we seen a substantial progress in terms of the completion of some of these unfinished construction projects? Uh, sure. So uh, a few um, uh, update here. The first one is about the central government also come up with the project by list yep. uh, in the middle of June. Um, we also put a report on the, on the back of that. Um, so that one is uh, moving on. Um, but I guess more have to be done. Uh, and then the second thing is um, back to about two years, roughly about two years ago, the central government also come up with the project completion fund. Um, so I think the progress has been moving on, but probably more need to be done uh, to restore the completion. Right. So what, what would need to be done exactly? What would encourage that, do you think? Uh, simply in terms is more money, uh, more funding support. Mm. Uh, we estimate the, uh, uh, the suspended or delayed project is roughly about 7 million units uh, back in the report that we published in March. Um, and the required funding is roughly about 2 trillion. Uh, so far, the funding coming from the government is probably um, uh, not enough to meet with the two trillion funding needs. Everyone has a different level of conviction in the things that they say. So how confident are you in the projection that you're making? Um, I think the thing is more about the, um, uh, the difference between the uh, outlook and also the confidence compared to the investor. So when I talk to the investors, they are very negative. Uh, and and um, based on my about 15 years of uh, sales experience, when people are very, very negative, uh, even though the, the fundamental is getting worse, share price may not react uh, negatively. But it's actually, it's the opposite. So what I see on the equity side is about the risk reward here. A tiny surprise on the fundamentals would probably need uh, investors to uh, reposition their, their position. Right. And what... What criteria? I know you can't talk specific stocks, but 
I'm just wondering what criteria you're using to filter the possible winners from the losers. Is it a price to book? Are you looking at valuation measures? Are you looking at exposure to specific, you know, tier one city exposure? Are you looking at state-backed developers, for example? Uh, sure. So a few things here. Number one is about the land acquisition um, because the land acquisition determined the earnings outlook for three or four years later. Um, and also, land acquisition also indirectly tell investors that whether the company have access to funding because you have to pay for the land. Um, so usually when the developers slow down the land acquisition, mm. it's not a good sign here. Okay. And then the second one is about the uh, shift of the business model. Um, so I also prefer the company with commercial property exposure uh, which allow them to change the business model. Uh, more earnings were coming from the rental income. Um, and uh, I think we have an example, something like the uh, Hong Kong company. They also have this kind of a feature as well.